We've told you stories about police dogs that can track people, detectives, detect explosives rather, and find drugs. But the state of Minnesota now has a canine that can find hidden money. And that canine, named Bia, helped crack a case that just led to a conviction. In a story you're seeing first on five, Eric Shalou takes us to a central Minnesota community grateful for her help. In the small community of Bolas, the Fire Department's Relief Association gives back to those in need. You can't walk the street without somebody talking about it. The official who used to oversee the department's charitable gambling operation was recently convicted of theft. The case was cracked in part by the Minnesota Alcohol and Gambling Enforcement's canine. That was nuts. And I didn't realize that they were bringing a dog in. As we pulled it out and we saw the date taken written on there and we see FD money written on there. It just, it, it blew my mind. Special Agent Brad Resney says his partner, Bia, the state's only currency detecting dog, found money in the suspect's house. I was excited. It was the, the first time I actually got to deploy her and use her on a, a real life case. In the case in question, Bia was able to find the money, they say, in a matter of minutes. They want to show us just how quickly she can find it. So here, they put on a test, put some money in a boot, to see if she could get it. Agent Resney brought Bia into the firehouse to demonstrate to us how she works to find cash. The nearly three-year-old German pointer was trained by the state patrol to find the scent of currency. When Bia finds money, she sits or freezes to alert her partner that she's found it. Good job. That's when Bia gets her toy as a reward. And you couldn't ask for a better partner that just lifts your spirits. And help the firemen get the money back so they can now help their community, including a church that was damaged in a fire. This dog wouldn't have helped us get it figured out. The church wouldn't have got the $10,000. In Bolas, Eric Shalhoub, 5 Eyewitness News.